China Skies just unveiled a mystery jet, the JHXX, also known as the J-36. With diamond-shaped wings, a rare three-engine design, and the ability to fit between the J-20 stealth fighter and the H-20 bomber, it's unlike anything we've seen before. Why does this matter? Because this aircraft could redefine how China projects air power, and the secrets behind it are only beginning to surface. The JHXX, sometimes referred to as the J-36, has quickly become one of the most talked-about aircraft projects in China. What sets it apart isn't just that it's a new stealth platform, but the very reason it exists. It's designed to bridge the gap between the sleek J-20 stealth fighter and the much larger H-20 strategic bomber. This makes it a new kind of tool in China's growing aviation lineup, one that combines stealth, payload, and reach in ways neither of those two aircraft fully achieve on their own. When the J-36 was first spotted on December 26, 2024, a date that coincidentally marked the birthday of Mao Zedong, analysts quickly noticed it didn't resemble either of its siblings. Instead, it featured a modified diamond or delta wing design, with multiple trailing edge control surfaces that suggested agility at high speeds. The wing's sharp sweep back angles and fighter-style nose gave it a sleek but aggressive profile, far different from the flying wing look of the H-20. The most unusual detail, however, is the three-engine configuration. Unlike typical stealth aircraft that rely on two engines, the JHXX appears to have a tri-jet layout. Two trapezoidal intakes under the wings, plus a dorsal intake on top, all feeding three rectangular exhausts at the rear. This setup is rare in modern stealth aviation. Analysts such as Angad Singh of India's Observer Research Foundation have pointed out that this design might help balance thrust with stealth shaping, drawing on China's investments in hypersonics and scramjet research. Speculative numbers suggest a combat radius of about 1,200 miles. That makes it far more capable than a short-range fighter, while still more flexible and potentially faster than a heavy bomber. Its landing gear, twin-wheel nose gear, and tandem-wheeled main gear also hints at a heavier airframe than the J-20, designed to support a larger payload. One of the most fascinating aspects of the JHXX story is how the world learned about it. Unlike public rollouts or flashy announcements, details have surfaced almost entirely through open-source observation and analysis. The first public sighting was on December 26, 2024, when the prototype took flight over Chengdu. This wasn't an accident. Spotters captured photos and video of the aircraft in the skies, and soon after, the images spread widely online. A second wave of sightings occurred in March and April 2025, confirming that this was no one-time stunt but part of an ongoing testing campaign. Analysts quickly got to work examining the photos. They noted the serial numbers, for instance, markings like 36,011, painted on the nose just behind its optical sensors. These fit with the People's Liberation Army Air Force naming conventions, supporting the claim that this was the J-36 prototype. Another important clue came when a two-seat J-20S stealth fighter was seen flying alongside it in some test flights. The presence of a chase aircraft suggested controlled testing and data collection. Beyond serials and escorts, the shape and features revealed even more. Photos clearly showed trapezoidal side intakes, a dorsal intake with a diverterless supersonic design, and three exhaust nozzles lined up side by side at the rear. Specialists in aerodynamics highlighted the trailing edge surfaces, including split outboard ailerons that might provide yaw control or braking. These details were not guesses, they were derived from visual evidence. The presence of multiple weapons bays was another revelation. Analysts identified one large central bay, possibly capable of carrying heavy air-to-air -air missiles and smaller side bays likely for additional missiles or precision strike weapons. That supports the notion of the aircraft being a medium bomber or fighter bomber, rather than a pure fighter. Even the landing gear provided information. The twin-wheel nose gear and tandem main gear were far more robust than those on the J-20, implying that the J-36 is heavier and designed for longer missions. The real significance of the JHXX lies not just in how it looks or how many engines it carries, 
but in what it could mean for regional and global air strategy. Today, China's bomber fleet is largely made up of the H-6, a platform that dates back to the 1950s and was derived from the Soviet Tu-16. While upgraded versions of the H-6 can carry modern missiles, it is not stealthy and is limited in survivability against advanced air defenses. The H-20, China's upcoming strategic stealth bomber, is meant to solve this by serving as a long-range, subsonic platform similar to the US B-2 and B-21. But that leaves a gap. China lacks a supersonic stealth bomber that can strike at medium ranges with flexibility. That's where the JHXX fits. If the projected 2030 operational timeline proves correct, the JHXX could arrive just as the PLAF seeks to modernize beyond older bombers. This gives China not one but two stealth bomber categories, a heavy strategic platform in the H-20 and a tactical, supersonic design in the J-36. Together, they would dramatically expand China's options for projecting power in its region. Why does this matter outside China? For one, it could pressure regional air defenses, forcing neighboring countries and alliances to adapt quickly. A stealth aircraft with a 1,200-mile combat radius means that bases, ports, and infrastructure across the Western Pacific would need new layers of defense. The JHXX isn't confirmed to carry nuclear weapons, but even as a conventional strike asset, its potential reach changes calculations. For the United States and its allies, this development highlights the importance of next-generation projects like NGAD, Next Generation Air Dominance, and the F-AXX program. The idea is simple. When one country develops new stealth platforms, others must innovate detection systems, interceptors, and defensive networks. It's not just about hardware, but about keeping doctrine and training ahead. Of course, challenges remain for the JHXX itself. Maintaining stealth with three engines is complex, and operationalizing such an aircraft requires years of testing and refinement. But even in its prototype stage, it sends a clear message. China intends to build a multi-layered bomber fleet, one that gives it options across the spectrum of missions. What we're seeing with the JHXX slash J-36 isn't just another prototype or stealth showpiece. It's China pushing to fill a gap in its air power between fast fighters and long-range bombers. With its diamond wings, unique three-engine design, multiple weapons bays, and speculated 1,200-mile range, it promises to be more flexible, more daring, more strategic. That said, much remains uncertain. How stealthy it really is in radar and heat signatures, how big the payloads end up being, how well it will perform operationally under combat stress. What we can say is that the JHXX signals a seriousness in China's aviation doctrine, to cover all roles, to project power, to adapt. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.